Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ready DC. I know it's scary. You're actually seeing this. I know. I'm sorry. But I figured it was probably a good way to do this video. Of course, you can see that I am joined by the lovely Nelly. And just look at her. You don't have to look at me. I know. Just but this is the response to the Ask Nelly about JB video. And I mean we opened it up to just general questions uh, for Nelly. So we had some awesome questions. We had some pretty much what I would, you know, consider standard questions, had some funny ones. And there's gonna be some in here that might require a little bit of maybe a little deeper deeper questions. So she has not seen the questions. I didn't wanna I wanted a real, you know, first come to your mind type answer. Is that that work for you? And yes, we are outside and the birds are talking to us, but that's always good too. We did have Bo out here, but Bo was here. <laughs> so it would have been Ask Bo. And we'd have yeah. went on for a while and now he's probably in the window. Is he up there? In the window, yeah. He's probably looking up there at sad face, but <laughs> I put him in the house. But are you ready? Are you ready for I these am, questions? I am ready. Do you have some that you think you'll probably get asked? I um, mean probably favorite knife, I would imagine. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, how do I put up with you? There are a couple of those. <laughs> definitely a couple of those. Now, this might be a little bit longer, guys, because there's quite a few questions. But you know what? We're going to do our best to get through them. And, you know, if you got to watch a few and come back and watch some more, if you want to do that, please do. So, all right. We'll just get into it. And this first question comes from It's a Knife Style. It said, have you ever had to tell JB, yell at JB, because he won't stop flipping his knives? No. Actually, we don't spend that much time together. Uh, JB works evenings, then I work days, so uh, a lot of times we're high-fiving. I'm getting out of bed, going to work, and he's getting into bed, coming to work, uh, coming to bed, getting home from work. So. And truthfully, Knife Style, we probably should have Bo out here, because he would probably be the one. Yeah. I spend more time with him than I probably do hers, yep. so yep. Nope. he would be the one that would be getting aggravated with my... All right, all right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for that question. Ah, this comes from our good friend Rodney Pearson. Rodney Pearson. Pearson Custom Knives. Now, I don't know. Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, you got your... Oh, of course. It's because it's my favorite. Of course, she brought... Now, Rodney is actually Ryan's dad. Ryan... Rodney helps Ryan. Okay. But Ryan is actually... Ryan is Pearson Custom Knives for okay. the most part. So, Ryan... So, Rodney is his dad. Rodney's watched the channel what for a long time. Life? There was, that was not on there before you borrowed it for the other day. You probably did it when you laid it down on the concrete. Hey, it's a uh, knife. Look, it's a user. I have it on one of my hands. I don't know. It wasn't me. <laughs> wasn't me. Wasn't me. All right, Rodney. It says, Nelly, does JB ever get overly excited about a knife delivery and sit watching for the mailman? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, no, not, well, again, I go back to, we don't spend that much time together during the week when the mail comes, but I think he is on, um, pretty good, uh, friends with our mail person, because there's packages that come almost every day, and then I know for a fact oh, yeah. that the ladies at the post office look forward to seeing him, so, yeah. while I don't, uh, get to see him very often waiting for the mail, uh, he gets pretty excited when he gets lots of packages. That is true. Very true. Another one from Rodney was, um, can you sharpen knives on your own or is that something you want to no, learn? No. No. <laughs> no interest whatsoever. I have actually left Jody notes before after he sharpened my knives saying, uh, now I'm afraid to touch any of my knives because they're so sharp. <laughs> I sharpen the knives. I tell her I sharpen the knives. Yeah. And she's like... I cut myself, and I was like, well, the knife is sharp. Yeah. That's, so. No, she does not sharpen. I do the sharpening, mm -hmm. but uh, we've talked about sharpening before. I'm not the greatest at it, but I can get a pretty sharp knife. All right. Thank you, Rodney. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right, Randy. Randy F. asked, would you like, to, or I would like to know one thing you love most about JB. Mm -hmm. Oh, as well as the thing that drives you nuts. Ooh, maybe I should earmuffs. <laughs> uh, what do I love the most about you? Um, 
I think probably what I love the most about Jody is we grew up uh, both in the Midwest and his family is so just like dedicated to each other. They're just this tight knit. Uh, they still, his brother calls every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when the Huskers are on, they are like texting each other through all the games. And so his like dedication and like, I can't, the word I'm caught want, just um, family is everything to Jody. And we brought that into our own family. Uh, and that's probably the, one of the things that made me fall in love with you. Uh, and then also just, I mean, you never have to know if he cares about you because if you, if he cares about you, uh, you will know. So very, um, uh, dedicated person and takes care of people very well. Uh, drives me nuts. That it's the toilet seat. The toilet seat? It's the toilet seat. Even as I get older and I'm like, brother, you've got to put the toilet seat down when I get home I from try. work. I have got to go. And I, I try. run in there and the toilet seat's up. I try. That and he I puts do. the toilet paper on the wrong way, right? No. Yes. That, no. You, it's no. over. No. Over the top, not under. No. No, no. Those 30 years, toilet paper and toilet is pretty good, but there's only that that drives me nuts about you. I guess I'll take that. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Randy. Thank you very much. Ah, BJ. Hilltop knives and gear. Hilltop. All right. <laughs> you got. I like BJ's questions. They're, oh, I like them all, but this one's. I like these. How long has it been since you have seen JB clean shaved? Oh, May of two thousand and. So I've been drinking a little bit this afternoon. I can't do that math in my head. So what is that, 11 years? It's been just, just I mean, I hit, I went on terminal leave from the military in May 20th, I believe it was. Yeah, from, yeah. your retirement was mid-May. Yeah. And, you know, and that's not even, because he said clean shaven. That's must, mm. that's, that's everything. I right, had a mustache no. the whole time I was in the military. We did that once, no. And I did it. I mm-hmm. shaved my mustache once. I, I don't I, know. I think you had a mustache when we met. Oh, I'm sure I did. Yeah, I think in I've high seen school. Oh, yeah. JB I, without a mustache once, and we agreed that he would not ever do that again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, after boot camp, I didn't have one because you couldn't. That was just the rules. I couldn't have one after boot camp, and I I think right after boot camp, once I got. God, I don't remember that. Yeah. I, I didn't see you after boot camp though, did I? Yeah, I came home. Yeah. And then I shaved once while I was in the military. I walked out of the bathroom. She's like, never do that again. Mm-hmm. So nope. clean shaven, it's pretty much been since I joined. The, well, that was probably there are, at least 20, probably 20, 25 years. There are men who can and there are men who cannot. <laughs> and you are definitely one who can wear the stash. So, Do you prefer him clean shaven or with the full beard? Oh, 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 this is not what I was Controversy. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> I do like the beard, but I also do like the clean, not, okay, so always the mustache is going to be there, always, but I do like the way you look clean shaven, but I like the high and tight too, so I like the... I have not seen myself clean shaven in so long, I wouldn't even recognize the person underneath, so... But the thing is, I don't care, right? I know. So, if you're happy, I'm happy. So that's a... This, this is JB. This, this is... That's who you are. This so. is who I am, and it's, it's a give and take, right? Mm-hmm. It matters not to me if Jody's happy, if I'm happy. Oh, and here's one for me and for you, JB. If Nelly asked you to shave off your beard, would you? Never would. Never, ever would. BJ. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. I do have a little deal Come going on. with our hairstylist, though, where she's trying. Because this, this is driving me crazy. Is it? A little bit. Yeah, I'd like you to go up a little bit with it, but. Me and, yeah, Susan, maybe. me and Susan got a thing Well, going. okay, when all this is over with and we can actually go somewhere and do things again, um, maybe. Yeah. Maybe we'll try. Again, it it doesn't matter. If you're happy, I'm happy. Uh, trust me. Uh, it's been a 
I've been thinking about it recently, going back, cutting her back a bit, but thank you, BJ. We yeah, survived your you. controversy, but thank you. Yeah. All right. Miss Anita Veldman asks, mm. Nellie, what yeah. knife would you pick for a woman? That's a little different than what I thought we were, then we still might get the question, what's your favorite knife? But for me, I like my knives like I like my boys with a little beef on them. So I like a big knife that I feel like I'm hanging on to something. Uh, it's not going to fly out of my hands. And I also have talked before about the, the rhinods and the problems that I have with the feelings in my hands. So definitely I like a big beefy knife. The ZT is probably probably my, one of my favorite knives as far as like utility because uh, it feels like you're handling something with some substance. So you just have to try all the different kinds. I'm still exploring. I didn't think I would like a fixed blade until yeah. um, I got... Do JB got this beauty for a, for me, and I love this. I've used it every day since since we got it. So I just don't have a belt. And that does surprise me a little bit that you say a bigger knife because you do have smaller hands. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Anita. I think you have another one in here somewhere, possibly. We'll see. All right. Gregory Burke asked Nellie, "Is there anything which JB cooks better than you cook?" Nothing. Steak. Whatever. You can cook steak well, she all day long. Eat, she doesn't eat steak, so... Probably salmon. No, you do my salmon, too. Okay. Yeah. All right. That works. JB doesn't cook. I grill. I and, don't cook. And again, back to the we only see each other two days a week, so one, we usually get takeout one night and then grill. This, so nobody in this house cooks anymore. Well, then it goes... So what are the dishes that JB cooks? Like I said, I grill. I grill steak. Pretty much anything you can do on the grill list. The one thing I do cook and I don't do it very often and it's more baking and that's runzas mm -hmm. yep. and it's been a while since I've made runzas and if you don't know what runzas are it's like a homemade hot pocket it usually has ground beef or sausage cheese I mean put cabbage uh, you sauerkraut Bo runza story oh yeah there's Bo yeah I was making runzas one time and I was going back and forth between counters by the stove and and I had I was taking them, I was transferring them from the pan, and I put number three on there. I go to grab number four, turn around, and it's still number three. <laughs> and I look down, and there's this big brown face looking at me, licking his chops. <laughs> so he must have got that thing and swallowed it. And they're decent size. They're not small. Bo likes runs us, apparently. So. Um... Uh, what do you cook which JB likes more than anything else? Well, probably any lasagna, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I mm. make good lasagna. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, I had a mouthful. Yeah. No, I think lasagna. I like to make yeah. um That's how I show I, people I love them, so I like to kill people with food. So anything with lots that of cheese. That is and, definitely the truth. Food, yeah. You express love with food. That is definitely the truth. Yeah. Um, oh, and then he says recipes, please. So there you go. <sighs> uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Who, who is that? Gregory? Yeah, Gregory. Mr. Burke, I am so sorry. I When my mother-in-law started teaching me how to cook way back when, she just, it's all up here. You just throw some in, and I could probably never duplicate it because sometimes it's that just turns the magic. Out good, though. All right, thank you, Gregory. All right, Tim. Tim Cook asks, Nellie, do you have rules for JB about what he can and cannot, where he can and cannot play with knives? Um, like no knife flicking at the dinner table. No. Okay. Probably, no, probably once when the kids were little, if you were, yeah, we probably wouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, table. yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. And do you know the real value of his knives? No. <laughs> <laughs> But that goes both ways because I have my own interests. That... Oh, there, uh, there's a question about oh, that. Okay. There's a question about that. Somebody... I would not want you to know how much I spend either. <laughs> True. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tim. All right. Jesse. Jesse Burgunder asks this. Is that? No, that is not Jesse. 
Hawaii. That's a different Jesse. Okay. Different, different, different Jeff, Jesse B. So now we go on vacation to meet you guys, right? So we went to Hawaii and we spent our vacation meeting people from the channels and, and the community. So <laughs> if you want us to come visit you after COVID, we will come. We do like to travel. Hopefully we can go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works. In August, yeah. Hi. Me and Melina. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Jesse Bergender asks, Nelly, I have two daughters, five and seven months. When do you think is would be a good time to teach children about knives? I think, you know, five is probably you can start talking about how to be um, respectful around, uh, you know, same with guns. It, it's not something to be afraid of. Um, and it can be used as a tool. You just have to know how to use it correctly. So five, I think, but I wouldn't give a five-year-old a knife. No, well, there's a, there's some, like, there's toy, like, Swiss Army knives and stuff out there. That, to me, would be a great place to start and start that that teaching process. And, I mean, it's a toy. Right. It's a toy, but it's also a learning tool. Mm -hmm. And you could start with that, you know, four or five years old. Maybe seven. Like, we have little twin... Yeah. Denise's that would probably maybe mm, yeah maybe they have to have some impulse control true very true very true who's that Jesse thank you Jesse that was a good question and what's JB's chin look like well we kind of answered that we haven't seen it in a long time so I don't I don't even know thanks Jesse uh, Rick Karens asks this, Nellie, we are trusting you an to answer truthfully. Oh, trust me, she will. There's no... Uh, JB always seems to be a very happy, easygoing guy. Is there something that always gets him a bit upset? So, the first thing I will tell you is... Ooh, cool. <laughs> we just had this conversation. Let me, let me uh... <laughs> okay? This man, number one, is married to me. Right. Beautiful home, beautiful children, family that loves him, great job, nothing to complain about. What was the question? I got a mic. Oh, 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 Rick. Um, is there something that gets him upset? Uh, so, we, uh, I think well, when we, we had a boat for a, several years, and mm. uh, I am an introvert. And people get me stressed out or I get stressed out by people. JB gets stressed out by things. So we we make a good team because uh, I can figure out things because I can read directions and the, the details. And he can deal with people. Uh, and so things that upset him are if he's got something in his mind the way it should go and it's not going that way, that that's yeah, definitely. gets you going. Definitely. And I've learned over the years. And I don't have a boat anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, one more. Once he started his channel, did you ever think he would be this popular? Well, I don't know how... Be popular? I, I guess. I, some people like me, I think. I think there's a couple <laughs> out there that like me. I think Rick likes me. Rick is pretty active on the channel. He right? is. Yeah. He's very active on the channel. Um... And did you ever think there'd be so many knives in the house? Well, no, so, probably not. Okay, so the question is, did I ever think that you would be this popular? So yeah. I didn't think I would Rick, be as uh, popular as what I am. Is this the, like, Ask JB About JB show? <laughs> um, Rick, I would tell you all I've ever wanted was for JB to be happy, and when he was active duty he had his community of sailors and that was you know we've never lived close by family so that was our family and after he retired that there was something missing from his life and he tried to fill that void with other things that just didn't hit the mark and and this seems to have uh, satisfied that need in him for community and family and so Never uh, for a second did I think about whether he would be successful or not. I just sincerely want him to be happy and find his place uh, in, in the world. Yeah, that pretty much. Yeah, that pretty much hits it right on the head. 
Thank you very, Rick. Yep. Thank you. Thank I you. like you, Rick. Yeah. I like you. Thank you for commenting on my uh, my videos, too. You're always yeah. very kind. Yeah. All right. Mr. Tony. Tony asks. Oh, Tony, thank you for commenting. You are. I'd like to meet you someday. Hi, Nellie. As we all know, JB has many, many, many. Easy, Tony. Irritating habits and falls. You could, hey, could you list your top 20 in order of annoyance? <laughs> Come on, uh, man. Well, we already got the toilet seat out of the way. Uh, irritating what? Ir ir things that irritating. I do that irritate you. Probably the biggest um, difference between the two of us is I try to always find the positive in, in everything. Uh and JB doesn't always see things from my point of view. And so I try. I try. That's probably try. and and for me it's because I care about him. I want him to be happy and I know it's not my job to make him happy, but when I see him frustrated and upset it 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 hurts my heart. So that's probably just what was did I answer the question? Well, let's let's keep it to two or three, <laughs> not twenty. What was the question, though? Yeah, things that irritating habits oh. and. Not really. No, maybe if you'd asked me that question twenty years ago, I could have listed twenty, but not anymore. Life is pretty good. I think I. I have one that I know. We have a corner of the counter. See, I, see, see, see. But see, I and sometimes I stuff gets piled up on the corner of the counter and it doesn't always get dealt with right away. But what you don't know is that there's, in my head, there's like a three week rule. So if it's sitting there three weeks and I still see it, I can <laughs> Unfortunately, there probably has been stuff there for three weeks. So. so I deal with that in my own way. Don't throw anything important away. <laughs> so if you All haven't right. heard from him for the three weeks, you know why. Thank you, Tony. All right, Mick. Mick asks this. So, oh, who I mows the lawn? Mow the lawn that the neighbors see, because I we lived in military housing and apartments for twenty years. I love to mow the lawn. Like when I first we first moved in this house, I would walk the lawn and dig out all the dandelions. There's not one single dandelion no, in that lawn. No. And as a matter of fact, we share. What's that up there? Up that there. is a mushroom. Oh, okay. It's wet. We share a little part of the grass with a neighbor who... <laughs> I'm I, waiting. She's tempering herself real hard right now, I can tell. I'm trying to find a nice way to say it. Just ask Mike's question. I, We're mow, gonna, I mow the lawn. You mow the front yard, and I usually, usually yeah. mow the backyard. Yeah, the backyard is a lot steeper. So here's the lawn. It's smaller. The, lawn, the, the backyard is smaller, so she does... Mow the most of it. When we first moved into our house and we got our lawnmower, we don't or we don't have enough lawn to have a riding lawnmower, so we have a push lawnmower. I'm pushing this thing and I'm like, oh my god, this is a lot of work. <laughs> Watching me, didn't bother to tell me how to engage the, like, whatever that's called that makes it go by itself. Self-propel. It's like a 30 degree angle. I'm pushing, oh, I feel like I'm doing <laughs> two-a-days in football practice. And it's a four-wheel drive lawn. It has front and rear drive. So it's really easy to mow the lawn with if you know how to engage the drive. I guess I forgot. Thank you very much, Mick, for that question. Thank you. I love to mow lawn. All right. Jack, Mr. Jack Donovan. Jack's the one that did my little intro for me. Oh, okay. On my, very the, cool. Thank you, Jack, for that. Uh, do you think JB has too many knives? What? Oh, do you think I have too many knives? Okay. Makes him happy. JB has a ton Makes of knives. What does Nelly have a ton of? Oh, a ton of. I thought you were going to ask for, about my knives. I, I, okay. The difference, though, is I've only had one hobby the whole time we've True. been together. And you've had. Many. So I uh, love art. So I love to do journaling and scrapbooking and painting and. So I have, uh, when our oldest son moved out, JB said, hey, why don't you make uh, his bedroom your studio? So I have, we both have our own rooms where 
yeah. all his stuff and all her stuff. So yeah, it's fair. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in her room. Yeah, and hopefully nobody ever did, wants to move back in with us no. because there wouldn't be room no, for them. No, no. <laughs> Congratulations, you're li now living in the garage. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jack. That was that's a good one. All right, John. <gasps> John. See you soon. Yes, we will see them soon. John is a very old friend of mine from the military. And he's moving back to the Pacific Northwest, and we're very, very, very happy for that, him and his family. I so. kind of feel like he's, like... Well, he's family. He's family, yeah. yeah he's, he's family. When we All first right. met him, they were just newlyweds. And oh, yeah. Were, yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, <laughs> has JB ever went to one of those beer festivals? Oh, that's not a loaded question at all. If so, uh, have you ever wanted to shank him with one no. of those pointy things that, he, that he's always talking about? That's been a few years, but we used That's to... That's been a long in time ago. We live in Seattle area, and there is a lot of microbreweries out here, so we would go to... Seattle Beer Seattle Fest. Seattle Beer Fest, where you get the tickets, and then you get a drink all day, and... Cherry Mead. Have a lot of fun. Yep. Cherry Mead. That's no. all I can say is Cherry Mead. I don't want to shank you, but I feel like you, just like with our kids, you can do whatever you are willing to accept the consequences Oh, for. and there was definitely consequences for that. Not, yep. not consequences. Mm -hmm. Just sleeping <sighs> on the bathroom floor. I don't know about that time. I know there is definitely, I don't remember a cab ride. I don't remember a lot of the... I know cherry mead was really good, and it's got a bite. Thanks, John. Thank you, John. That was one of the funny ones. Yeah. All right, KLC. Probably off the cuff a bit, but how do you feel? How did it feel when JB got out of the military? Such, um, such as, did you have to reacquaint, or everything felt in place? Did did it seem normal? I'm gonna let you answer this. Oh, because it's for you, but I wanna, I wanna throw a caveat in there. Well, that was all we ever knew, because yeah. we got married and you were in the navy when we got married. So, yeah. uh, it was scary, because when you were in the military, there's steady income, and we didn't, you didn't have a job, I don't think. So I think, uh. I think it was like two weeks before you got a job, and we always tell our kids we tried being poor and we didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was, I was unemployed for, I think it was, it was about a month, wasn't it? I don't know. It was about a month. I was very lucky, very fortunate. But my caveat to that is, and I don't think I've talked about this a whole lot, but my last three years in the military were very rough. Very rough. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on why. Never, ever been able to. Uh, but those last three years were hard. And if there's ever been a time in our relationship where she might have just pulled the ripcord, that probably would have been it. It, it, it. And she would have been totally, trust me, she would have been totally in the right. I was just, it was, I was, I, I think I was clinically depressed, honestly. And the only reason I didn't go talk to anybody is I was so close to retirement, I didn't want to lose it. But, and as soon as I got out of the military, I was, with that, it was a whole different world. And, I just, I don't know. It was just a weird, really weird time. Really weird time. And I'd, I've never been able to put my finger on why. But, so for me, it definitely got better. So, but, thank you, KLC. Thank you, thank KLC. you for that. Oh, he also says much respect and appreciation for being head mama boss while JB served his time. I actually thought we'd get more questions about that. Oh, there's a couple more. Okay. There's a couple more. Uncle Kyle asks. Uncle Kyle. 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 Uncle, Uncle Kyle. Kyle. Uncle okay. Kyle asks. Why? Oh, okay, Nelly. What were your thoughts when JB said, I'm going to start a channel, and what do you think about it now? I mean, we've kind of talked about that, but. Okay. She's always just. Whatever. Supported every lame brain idea I've ever come up with. So, I mean, that's pretty much the straight. Well, and it goes both ways because when I, I was a stay-at-home mom when our kids were little because he were gone all the time. And once they were in school and I didn't know what I wanted to do and you were like, well, why don't you take a class? 
Yeah. And a couple years later, I had my master's degree and bringing yeah. home money. So. Thank you, Uncle Kyle. Thank you. Tojo. <laughs> I, I could almost guess what the question to he says, how can you handle JB being such a red fanboy? We have this whole red knife, green knife thing going oh, on. Oh, red. I thought it... Okay. No, red red and green. He likes green knives. You know, I like red knives. It's a thing. The reason you like red knives, though, is because of hus the Huskers. Oh, red has been... Right. So... I mean, look. See back there? See that thing back there? It says Huskers. I mean, I can I pan mean, the camera around and I can show you a lot of stuff. Yeah. I am red. not from Nebraska, but when you marry someone who is from Nebraska, it's in the vows that you never make plans on a Saturday in the fall. You have to either join them or suffer. So I just, it's all about Huskers. Thank you, Tojo. Thank you. Zeb, he's Zeb. got a new channel. He's DSS now, Dual Sports Survival. He dropped Woodland Tactical oh. and... He's now started over, so okay. shout out to Dual Sport Survival if y'all need to check him out. It's still Zeb. It says, hey Nelly, can you get JP to spend more time in the bamboo? He likes it when I chop up the bamboo with the knives. Oh, okay. That's why he asked that, so. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if you chopped up some more of the bamboo. Okay, well, it looks like I'm going to chop more bamboo. Thanks, Zeb. Thank you, Zeb. Jerry Millet asks, has JB's love for knives influenced you at all to have a hidden love for them? And has he given you... Oh, has, and has he given you knives? Yes. Uh, yes, you've given me knives. Uh, no, I do not have a hidden love for knives. But I will say that if it's important to JB, I want to at least be able to... Uh, you know, I'm, I want him to be able to talk to me about it, and so I want to know, like, I've learned the basics of knives, and uh, I... You have knives. I've I given you knives, knives, and you yep. use them as tools, like they're yep. designed for, yep. and I, but a love... No. Nah. Thank you very much, yep. Jerry. Oh, Christine. Miss Women Carry Knives. To whom we owe a huge oh, debt. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Two-parter here. Two-parter. What do you think of when? What did you think of when JB started collecting his knives? Kind of, sort of answered that one, and his channel. And what made you start carrying a knife? Uh, the collecting kind of goes back to the whole. You've had multiple hobbies mm -hmm. over the years, and it's just sort of who you are. It's so. The next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I this didn't... one, I this one's sticking a little yeah. bit. Good. So I didn't really think anything of it. Uh, I knew that you were probably pretty serious about it when you got excited about the first Ray Laconico knife that came.